Are you ready to rock and escarol? Oh, that's terrible. I'll show myself out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Theater where I make big things happen in this tiny kitchen. Today we're going to revisit a recipe from my Gorgeous Green series where I took a sturdy green, put it into a sturdy pot, put on a sturdy lid, stuck it into the oven for an hour and it came out tender and silky smooth. But it's 11 million degrees here and I'm not going to turn my oven on. So we're going to rework that recipe so that it all happens right here on the stovetop. It starts with a green that's already fairly tender, in this case, escarole from our friends at Stone Ledge Farm. But first we've got to get it squeaky clean. Rub-a-dub-dub into this salad spinner tub. I've already got some greens in here. I'm just going to take off the bottom of this and get the rest of the greens in. our green soaking so that the grit can sink to the bottom, we're going to get started on some of our aromatics. So what that involves is, just like the last time, some oil, an onion, some red pepper flake, and minced garlic. If your garlic starts to turn brown, dump everything out, wash your pot and start over because that's going to impart a very bitter flavor to your dish. It won't be good. Start over. Whoa. Those were dirty. We're going to give them another soak. our greens. We used apple cider vinegar as the cooking liquid. We're going to substitute that today with the water, bean sauce, bean gravy, bean brine. The bean brine that comes in a can of beans. So you're going to wash the lid really carefully because you're going to resist muscle memory. Usually when I open a can of beans, I will drain and rinse them right away. But we're using the liquid for this dish. So what you're going to want to do is Use your can opener to open the can most of the way around, but not all the way around. Make sure you wash the lid before you do this because the outside of the lid is going to come in contact with what's inside the can. So you're just going to hold the can like that to keep the beans in and pour the liquid out. The beans are going to go in right at the end because if we were to put them in right now, they break down a lot and you'd have like little chunks of bean instead of nice whole beans. Let's finish giving these a rinse. Oh yeah, that's good. go too crazy getting these dry because they're about to go into the cooking liquid anyway. So into the pot we go. And again this is going to look like a lot but it cooks way down. It'll wilt down to essentially nothing. I invited Swiss chard to the party. I hope nobody minds. 
food on. We're going to let this go for 10 minutes. Behold of the brothy goodness. As you can see, these have wilted down a lot, like a lot. And this is good. This is what we want. They're going to go another 10 minutes, but before they do, we're going to add in our beans. Very, very, very carefully open this can of beans with something other than your finger, please. Gently stir the beans in. That goes the lid, which by the way is also a casserole dish. I love this thing. I got it at Ikea like a million years ago, but uh, it does the trick. So when we did our braise, we created a one pot meal by putting uncooked spicy Italian pork sausage on top before we put it into the oven. That worked great because it gave the sausages an hour to cook in the oven, but this being a much more efficient process, your sausages wouldn't get cooked in time. So we solved that problem with these pre-cooked chicken sausages. They come in a variety of flavors. This is Italian style, which is exactly the vibe we're going for. So while this finishes cooking, I'm just gonna cut these up into coins and put them in so that they can heat through. maybe try to render these before we got the rest of the ingredients in? I don't think so because these are very lean and I don't think that they might have rendered very much fat that would have brought flavor to the party. They're pre-cooked. I just put them in at the end to combine them and to heat them through. That smells so good. Look at that. All of the greens wilted down. The bean brine has become a lovely broth. The sausages are cooked through. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. This is everything you want to eat. And because we did it on the stovetop and didn't turn on the oven, it's not 11 million degrees in here. Oh, come on. That is so pretty and delicious. I hope you'll try it. It's so good. Sorry, camera two. And now we taste. That is so good. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.